Hello, I'm Dr. Farine Karachiwala, Associate Medical Officer of Health for York Region. Across the province, including here at home in York Region, the number of COVID-19 cases continues to rise. So over the past week, for example, we've seen around 31 new cases per day, many of which are in people less than 40. With this surge of cases, it is important to know that the system as a whole is more prepared. We are more knowledgeable, and we have in place many of the measures that are needed to ensure that this rise does not exceed our capacity. We do not want to see our ERs and hospital beds fill up again. And so both governments and individual residents have a crucial role to play in determining the shape of the curve and the fate of what the pandemic will look like this fall. This past week has seen a series of important initiatives from the provincial government. As of this weekend, for example, restaurants, bars, and other similar establishments like nightclubs are not allowed to sell alcohol after 11 and must be closed by midnight. We applaud this move given the risk of COVID-19 transmission in some of these environments. We are well aware of how even one sick person with COVID-19 attending a party like setting, sharing drinks, and being in close proximity to others can result in a large number of secondary cases. Also, the province has now moved away from recommending testing for completely asymptomatic, low-risk people without any exposures to ensure that those who need testing the most are prioritized. 60 pharmacies across Ontario now offer appointment-based testing for people that are asymptomatic but fall into a higher-risk group. So, for example, residents, visitors, or workers of long-term care homes, homeless shelters, or other congregate settings, international students who have completed their quarantine, farm workers, and Indigenous communities. Testing for these groups or anyone that is unwell or has been exposed to COVID-19 should continue to occur at assessment centers. Remember that testing remains a cornerstone of the response and anyone that is fe feeling unwell with symptoms should go for testing. People across all different sectors and communities have a crucial role to play to help ensure these government initiatives are successful. We have to go back to the basics. Practice physical distancing. This is foundational to our response and needs to be done in indoor environments and outdoor environments alike and in all settings, including when working out at the gym or attending any private event, for example. Avoid close contact with people outside of your immediate household or social circle. It is really important to think about every interaction you have with a person and the risks that you may pose to them or vice versa should one of you unknowingly be infected. Wear a mask when distancing cannot be maintained. Wash your hands well and often and stay home when you're sick. This part cannot be stressed enough. Even with mild symptoms that are new or worsen for you, it is critical to isolate and seek assessment and testing and not go out into the community for any reason while waiting on results. For those in our school system, it is so important to remember to screen yourself and your children daily before entering the school environment. For students and educators, maintaining physical distancing is paramount. And this includes outside of the traditional classroom setting too, like during breaks or recess. Finally, despite the lovely summer-like weather this weekend, flu season is just around the corner. Every year we see a number of deaths and hospitalizations from the flu that can really strain our healthcare system. This threat is very real now as our hospitals are also dealing with the impacts of COVID-19. The flu vaccine will be available soon and we are encouraging everybody six months of age and older to get their flu shot. The flu shot is our best defense against becoming sick with the flu, and you can learn more about it at york.ca slash flu. While the flu shot won't protect you against COVID-19, it can help ensure that this fall and winter we are not dealing with two serious respiratory illnesses. The flu shot is available to everybody free of charge and can be accessed at your healthcare provider, pharmacies, and through York Region Public Health later this fall. This year will be the largest flu campaign in Ontario's history for a very important reason. We have to make sure our residents, 
our system and those most vulnerable have every opportunity possible to remain healthy, resilient, and strong.